Never say die. The child of God lives on. Revelation 11, 15, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Walter B. Knight, in his book, God Cares for You, gives an account of the homegoing service for F.B. Marr, Bible teacher and author, in 1929. London has seldom witnessed a funeral such as was held for him. There was not a single note of grief or tragedy heard. The scriptures all spoke of the Christian's hope of immortality, and Easter hymns were sung. As the organ began to play at the conclusion of the service, the vast audience rose and stood with bowed heads, waiting for the funeral march to begin. But to their surprise, they heard the triumphant notes of the Hallelujah Chorus. What music could have been more appropriate? A faithful soldier of the cross had been ushered into the presence of his king. For the child of God, death need not be tragic. Sure, the deceased will be greatly missed by loved ones, and sometimes much physical discomfort is associated with dying. But remember, death is only a temporary transition to heaven. The dead shall rise indeed again to be with their king, Jesus Christ. Have you suffered the loss of a loved one because of COVID who faithfully served Christ? Be encouraged that glory awaits everyone who dies in Christ. Don't be afraid or saddened by death, by how you have been ravished through this COVID exercise. Remember, death is the Christian stairway to God's glory. Father, we just thank you this morning for another day, the beginning of another week, and all the blessings you afforded us as we worship you over Sabbath and Sunday. We pray that your hand will be upon us as we travel the corridors of this new week. In Jesus' name, amen. Here is my thought for today. For the child of God, death is never the end. It is the beginning of eternal life. God bless you. Have a great and a godly day.